All right, everybody, I am at Bunker's Hill. All right, Bunker Hill. This battle took place months, months after Lexington and Concord. This took place on June 17th of 1775. So by this time, the Continental Congress had met. Washington had been dispatched from Philadelphia up to Boston to take command of the forces up here. Now, it wasn't set, it wasn't guaranteed to be independent. So again, this is, 1775 still there's a, they're a year away from the declaration of independence in fact the, the congress is actually drafting an olive branch uh document for the crown and the parliament to try to avoid conflict but the battles that took place in april had put the british on a war footing believing that the, at the colony of massachusetts was an open rebellion and beginning to, to muster up troops and ships to send over to quell the rebellion once and for all this monument here, which looks oddly a lot like the um, Washington Monument in D.C., is the monument for the men who died here at Bunker Hill. Now, this is where uh, Dr. Joseph Warren was when he was killed. In fact, Washington was looking forward to meeting him upon his arrival to Boston, but tragically, on the 17th of June, 1775, uh, Dr. Warren was killed. To great acclaim um, by the commanding forces, in the regular army, the British, because it was believed that Gage's wife, uh, who was born in New Jersey actually, favored Dr. Warren, and there might have even been an affair that took place. Uh, a lot of that is speculative, but uh, the general was very glad to see Joseph Warren fall on uh, June 17th of 75. Now, <laughs> this building right behind me here this is the old museum for this um, site. The museum has now moved over to the old uh, Charleston Library, but this museum, inside of it is a picture, is a picture is a statue of Warren, and it's believed that this is right around this area is where Warren actually fell, where he, here his body was found mutilated, was uh, in the, near, is, is, is in where this building was built. The monument, you can climb it when it's open, there's quite a few stairs. Um, this kind of shows you kind of the beginnings of it. Um, these things took a long time to build. Uh, like 1843, it was completed. You know, just as the country is starting to begin to tear itself apart is when a lot of these Revolutionary War monuments are being finished. In fact, the monument for the Battle of Yorktown wasn't finished until after most of the Civil War generals were already dead. So it took them a long time to get that one built. But this is where Prescott held. Well, I never forget the British forces, the the regular, the, the the British regulars. They were coming up from here. All right, so down that way you can see, kind of see downtown. Where is now downtown Boston? This is Charleston. So like Boston is much much smaller. It was like a little peninsula, and Charleston was actually separated uh, from the rest of Boston. And they had to come over here, and they had to. Um, the march up this hill to get to the readouts which were on top of the hill so where that monument is that's where the readouts were that's where most of the American continental forces were at and here is a statue of Colonel William Prescott from June 1775 but uh, it'd be kind of weird I think you imagine standing here 1775 and being able to transport back and forth between today and 1775 and seeing how the, the landscape has changed. But yeah, several waves, several waves of British regulars were sent up this hill uh, being mowed down by the continental forces. A uh, few of them had some military service for the Seven Years' War, the French Indian War, um, but not many. Um, the, the, the bravery by the continental forces here surprised the commanders of the, of the British regular forces. And it was feared that you know if they keep winning, because I mean, Bunker Hill was a te technical uh, British regular victory, but it was you know believed in Parliament that if the if they had to win any more battles like that, that the the war would be lost very quickly um, by the British, and that they, they just couldn't they couldn't afford those those types of losses. Um, it was, and Nathaniel Hill actually said, you know, I would much rather sell them another hill at the same cost. There were the 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 casualties from both sides was very one-sided 
Um, the, col the colonists had few, maybe very fewer casualties than the British main forces that who had so after set, you know, four or five waves, they, they came in from all directions, were still being cut down. One thing that really kept the, the colonists from being able to win the day was ammunition. They ran out. Um, so it went to hand-to-hand -hand combat. In fact, there are, there are three, um, there are, uh, so along with Joseph Warren and Prescott, there were several um, blacks that were fighting here that uh, contributed greatly to the American uh, uh, cause for independence. Um, here at Bank, at Bunker Hill, and when I actually come through and do all my like official videos uh, talking about you know the battles in more depth, I will talk to you about them. But like I said this is supposed to be a quick run through of leading up to the Declaration of Independence here in Massachusetts. So we've talked about what happened at at um, the, the old State House, um, the Bloody Massacre, you know the Boston Massacre, um, the Tea Party, and then going into the Battle of Lexington, the shot heard around the world, and Concord, and now we've reached to June 17th. So we went from April to June of 75, doing uh, talking about Bunker Hill, and then Washington does arrive here, and they start building up their forces and start setting forth because at this point war is coming. The 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 the, the um, olive branch uh, offer is denied by the British. Parliament and by the Crown immediately. The King George says the, the, the colonies are in open rebellion and he starts sending troops over. And by between, the, you know, here and the Battle of New York, which takes place in 1776 in September, the Declaration of Independence is signed. Uh, it, it, is, it, is, it is written up, it is ratified, and it's signed. It is actually read by George Washington here in Boston. So um, this is so this is kind of what's going on here. Um, I'm gonna get get to one more spot. Uh, talk to you guys you know, about Washington's time here in Boston um, because we get he 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 brought cannons. He has he had this is this is up on a hill, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit more about what how what Washington does and how he gets the British to leave Boston. Uh, after his reinforcements show up. So stick around guys, we are almost